Hello everyone. I am so happy to welcome you back to Mary's Little House of Centerville, Illinois, in the United States of America. I am so grateful that you come. Thank you for your faithful visiting by way of YouTube, Mary's Little House. Here's our official greeter at Mary's Little House. He hasn't fell asleep yet because I haven't started talking. He will pretty soon. This is Peanut here. This is Peanut. He just got his Easter hairdo. Uh, and he's still sleepy. He just wants, look at that, he still wants to, I don't know, he's just very sleepy now. He's been outside frolicking through the, the newly green grass. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, spring day here. It's nice and, and breezy and, and sunny. And he's, he's tired, I guess. He, he'll be asleep in a few moments as I start speaking. Oh, I'm so grateful to be with you. Uh, this morning I had was early for an appointment, and I, I stopped at St. Henry's a Catholic Parish Church on Main Street, Belleville, Illinois. And it, it, they have outside the church, they have a beautiful uh, 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 yard. It's, it's so lovely. There are three uh, uh, large, tall, for, for uh, holly trees, holly trees. And it, 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 it's, it's embracing uh, a beautiful uh, Fatima uh, a statue group, Our Lady of Fatima and the three children and two lambs. The children were shepherds, uh, the three ch children. And there's a bench there, and so I got to pray the rosary there. But, uh, but the thing what I want to mention, on, way on top of the middle holly tree that surrounds this beautiful uh, uh, a Fatima scene was a mockingbird, and he was just uh, uh, singing out to the world. No matter what the traffic was on Main Street right behind us, no matter uh, the, the train, there was a coal train carrying hundreds of coal cars uh, 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 right uh, 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 behind the houses across the street, the, the track there, and it was making all kinds of noise. But that mockingbird kept on singing, singing the praises of the Lord. And I thought of him, he's our wonderful example of evangelization. No matter what the noise, no matter what the, uh, the, the commotion, no matter how busy, we must, like St. Paul says, preach the word of God uh, in season and out of season, when they're listening and when they're not listening. And that was, I love that, Mark, but it, it just gave a wonderful, wonderful testimony uh, of, of his, it, uh, you could see his little throat, you know, it, it, and his body move with all his, his beautiful calls and, and songs, and, and he's got a lot of variety there. But for the train, the cars, it just kept on going, uh, and then the quiet, too. He, he chortled through the whole thing, proclaiming, uh, uh, he, the, the goodness of the Lord uh, and that's what evangeliz evangelization is that this in season out season proclaiming the goodness of the Lord and so I, I had a wonderful peaceful time there even though it was Main Street USA one of the longest Main Streets in, of, of, of the United States Belleville, Illinois someone told me it's a very long Main Street and this the beautiful church, St. Henry's Parish Church, that's right there um, on Main Street. Oh, I, I, I'm so grateful. To, uh, and so I wanted to share the spring day with you. Uh, it was this beautiful outside. Then I went to Mass at the uh, National Shrine of Our Lady of the Snows. And of course, it's still Easter. And what, in my reflections, I've been trying to tell you viewers that the and, and uh, readers, rather, they, they get my reflection, uh, uh, that the Easter is a whole new thing. It's a new creation. I was trying to help someone involved in some kinds of, oh, uh, broken situations and everything where people were hurting each other and getting even and all that kind of thing. But I told this person, please don't get your baptismal garment stained by all that. This is a new creation. You have a new garment. We renew our baptismal promises every Easter, but and also people come in Easter uh, uh, by way of baptism into the church. So, so our garments are all, uh, and we renew our, 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 our good confession during Lent and 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 and, uh, 
and communion. We knew our life and our garments are all clean again. So I told this person, don't get yourself besmirched by all of that. Stay out of those things. It, yes, your rights and all that. God will cover you those things, your rights and, and your good name and all of that. God has that all in hand. All he's asking you is to, to be faithful to him, to stay in the moment, in, in, in the moment where he reveals his love and his holy will. So so this it's a whole new thing. It's Easter is. We don't have to go back to the old uh, flesh pots of, of, of Egypt, of, of the old things that used to give us not much but some pleasure. But but but, but stay in and, and, and the joy of of, of love. Uh, I remember I, I quoted from the diary of Saint Maria Faustini. She said, "Love love is heaven given to us already on earth." When we do love, we're so free. We're not in competition with anybody. We're just at their service, at their feet, like Jesus, washing the feet of others. And it's such a joy to love. We, we have no, nothing else to do but to love. and no, Not to impress anybody. Not to, 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 to uh, 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 do things uh, uh, to, to satisfy ourselves. But, we, we, but, but to do them for the love of God and the love of others. And really do it with passion passionate love that we, that that's uh, that that that's our greatest joy to love others and and the gospel today said the same thing it's a short gospel uh, a, a short gospel according to John it uh, the last uh, the words of Jesus before the night before he died part of that those exhortations and beautiful uh, oh uh, uh, a revelation of his heart to his disciples who are not going to see him for a little while, but a little while he'll come back the night before he died. But this is, I, I thought, oh my goodness, I left this talk, share this with my, uh, my viewers. It's from John 15, 9 11. John 15, 9 11. Oh, 9 11. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have loved, unless, uh, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. The joy, see, uh, what Faustina was saying. We have our heaven on earth. Heaven is full, is sheer joy. We're just completely loved, completely given in love, completely just satisfied in all, all our needs in every heaven. That's what heaven is. But it starts here. And Jesus gives us that secret. Uh, when he tells his disciples, if these are his last words uh, before his, he, the next day before he dies on the cross, on this, when, he, when he did the Last Supper, the night before he died. <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. At, at Jesus said to his disciples and to you today listening to this YouTube as the Father lo loves me so I also love you isn't that neat Jesus, oh he's in love with the Father and the Father just loves him and, and, and he wants to share that uh, he wants to, to love as he receives that love from the Father he wants to share that love as the Father loves him to share with us uh, with others. Oh, I love that. See that if this uh, really something, remain in my love. Now, how do we remain in my love? Remain in my love. Uh, if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. See, it's all a matter of pleasing the other. Obedience, when it is out of love, is to please the other. That's where we live. We're not here. Just to worry about number one, we not. Oh, number, we're here to 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 make others happy, to be obedient to their wishes, and to, and and, uh, and 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 to, not our will, but to choose what what pleases them. In this case, Jesus is asking us to remain in His love. How do, can I please you, Jesus? What would you like for me to do? I'm always sometimes in the house with all kinds of tasks around me and things. I, I have to stop and say, what, is it, what do you want me to do? Let me do it with all my heart. Tell me what, what the Father wants me to do. Help me, give me strength to do it. And that is a great joy. Nothing's a burden then. 
when we, there's a expression, where there's love, there's no labor, there's no burden, because you want to, you want to please the other. So, in order to stay in that love, we must do his commandments. Of course, good moral life, I mean, we can't be sinning and all that, that's misery, sin is, is, a, is a misery, uh, 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 par excellence, I mean, it's absolutely awful. Anyway, Remain in my love. Remain in my love. And if you want to do it, keep my commandments. Keep your keep your baptismal garment just glorious. I always tell people uh, 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 when I leave, uh, I'll, 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 I will see you in heaven if not before. And then I say, uh, and in heaven you'll be wearing a white garment, uh, washed in the blood, precious blood of the the Lamb of Jesus. Uh, but so our, but we're wearing it right now, uh, uh, that baptismal garment, and we were. We were exhorted by the church not to get it dirty from sin and all those things. But but so and we renewed it in Easter. And Easter is a whole new way of living. It it, it, it it's not the way of the world that just seeks number one ourselves. It's not the way of the devil that's that's so oh awful and and uh, selfish and uh, ugly and all. It's not the way of our own flesh that oh yeah let, you know just to seek comfort and 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 all that kind of stuff. It's as that's boring anyway. Uh, it, it's a way of, of of Jesus love love of the Father. He loved the Father so much. He he did the Father's will in coming becoming flesh, becoming more like us, and to suffer and die on the cross and rise again, uh, and, and bringing us this whole new world. This whole new world, uh, that, that, that this new creation, a world that is driven by love, a world that is uh, filled with wonder every way where God is, is uh, uh, where God is revealing himself in every moment. As, as Benedict XVI said, God reveals himself in the ordinary daily details of life. And it becomes, everything becomes enchanting, a fairyland, a wonder of God's love, showing his love, his, his, it, it, every, every minute of our days. Okay, so, uh, so we may, and why did he tell us this? That, that to remain in, m m in my love, and to remain in my love is to keep my commandments. And, and, and it's not just a, oh, uh, oh, I got to keep the commandments, but a joy to please him that as keeping his commandments. Why did he tell us this? He told us this. Look, well, this is the reason. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. That we may be happy. That we may be happy here on earth. We don't have to wait for heaven. This heaven's not a pie in the sky. It's right here, right now, it, 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 as we love as we remain in, 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 in Jesus, as we remain in him by doing the, the Father's will, uh, and th that we may have joy, and I, his joy, Jesus' joy, the joy of Jesus, that, that his joy, Jesus' joy might be ours, and our joy, there's nothing else that will be complete. I am so happy to be with you. Thank you for joining me. God bless you all. Bye-bye.